Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 23rd video in Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I am going to show you the installation of Veeam Agent for Microsoft Windows. So um, uh, Veeam Agent uh, for Microsoft is, is a standalone tool which we can install on any physical or virtual server and then we can use the uh, this uh, Microsoft uh, Veeam Agent for Microsoft uh, to take the backup of oper Windows operating system and you can see from here you can easily backup your machine to external hard drive, NAS, share or a Veeam backup repository. Uh, so th this tool is going to give you the option to install uh, uh, a standalone tool and then you can take the backup of your virtual machines or the physical machines to any uh, external hard drive or NAS or Veeam backup repository. Also this is advanced tool uh, which you can help you to um, get the uh, created, uh, you can create the recovery um, DVD media for the Veeam agent backup and then in case of any issue you can go ahead and uh, recover your servers or your Microsoft virtual machines by using this recovery tool so we are going to for uh, in next few videos we are going to see the Veeam agent for Microsoft uh, Windows and how we can use this uh, with uh, Veeam backup and uh, Veeam backup and replication to get the machines restore and also we will perform some physical to virtual migration and we will see how we can restore uh, our virtual machine from a backup repository and all together so here we have uh, some uh, details about the Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows so you can see Veeam uh, agent for Microsoft Windows offer below features to protect your data or protect our virtual machine so you can see create a Veeam backup uh, Veeam recovery media on external hard drive USB DVD uh, or uh, CD or create an ISO with a Veeam backup recovery media on disk. So basically we can create a recovery media from this Veeam backup in agent and we can boot our servers uh, by using that recovery media and we can restore our full complete server or backup volume or individual files and folder by using this recovery media and then we have a uh, create an entire system image backup so we can create a full uh, computer backup by using it's going to work as an image backup method so we can create an image based backup for the uh, for the virtual or physical servers uh, by using the image and backup and then we have a backup to a specific computer volume or uh, individual files and folders so we can uh, actually modify the uh, information what you what we need to take the backup by using this agent so we can either take the volume backup individual folders or files backup by using the veeam agent and also we have backup can be stored on external hard drive or uh, hard drives or like uh, external hard drive or um, uh, uh, any like uh, eSATA or SATA drive and also it can be shared or uh, stored in the network shared file folder so we can uh, we can uh, save this uh, uh, backup on the network file share also and we can also have a uh, option to save at the Veeam backup repository and in case of the disaster you can perform the following restore operation so in case uh, we have a failed virtual machine or physical server we can we can recover those uh, uh, those machines by using these options so start your OS from the Veeam recovery media and use the Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows and standard Microsoft operating Windows tool to diagnose and fix the problem so basically we can uh, boot our server uh, in case of any disaster we can boot our server by using the Veeam recovery media and we can get the machine restored from the backup and we can also perform the bare metal or restore like uh, if the hardware goes fail and uh, then we can take the backup uh, of the virtual machine or physical server to another server by using an external drive or network share and then we can perform a bare metal restore to a brand new physical server and also we have restored necessary data from a backup to its original location on a new location so basically by using this option we can restore our data to the original location like on a file server on a, f uh, on a uh, based on volume or file folder uh, file folder backup and restore uh, also we can restore to the new location if required so uh, Veeam back uh, Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows provide um, uh, ma multiple feature which we can use as per our convenience and we can we can uh, plan for the uh, best way 
to get the machines back up and uh, in case of any disaster we can recover by using the, those plans so we can see how we can get the Veeam back up uh, Veeam agent for Windows Microsoft uh, Windows so you can go to Veeam and you can log in as a user if you don't have a user account you can create a user account on a Veeam website and then if you go to products you have here Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows and if I go here you can scroll down and you have here free three month license if I click here then you can see the uh, it's going to give you the you can also request the three months free product license no limit with the no limitation if, uh, and if you want to download the last uh, Veeam uh, um, agent for Microsoft Windows you can click here and it's going to download to the your server or your machine so this is how you can get the Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows and the latest version is a 2.2 so I have already downloaded this so let's see the lab environment which we have in this video so we have three virtual machine in this video so the first one is win 2 k dc one which is my actual directory server so here is my Active Directory and DNS role and we took it all DC01 which is running uh, on domain my, uh, vectorinfosol.com so this is my Active Directory and DNS server and the next we have a Veeam server so uh, this Veeam server basically we are going to use in next video when we are going to take the backup of these two servers and Veeam backup repository so here is uh, our back, uh, Veeam backup server so if I go and open the Veeam backup and replication console you can see the server itself so when to get 12 hyphen Veeam so this is Veeam backup and application server so we are in Veeam backup and application console so and the next machine we have um, exchange server which is win 2 k 12 ex01 this is uh, a microsoft exchange 2016 server so you can see here this is exchange server uh, win 2 k 12 ex01 and if i go here you can see the ecp console and if i log in here exchange you can see this is exchange server and we have few users account here so so we have this infrastructure in this lab environment so I'm going to download and install this Veeam agent for my these two machines on my domain controller and exchange server which we are going to use in next video for like uh, going to uh, we are going to back up these machines and we are going to do the physical to virtual migration by using Veeam, uh, Veeam backup agent so uh, first go to domain controller and if I go to downloads I have this uh, file downloaded here Veeam agent windows and I'm going to double click here the setup so you can see here Veeam agent for Microsoft and Windows and I'm going to just click on install so it's going to install required component and if I go here that my program you can see it's going to install so same I'm going to run the setup on my exchange server also so here is my exchange server I'm going to run the setup here also so install so this installation is going to take a few minutes to get the installation done so just wait for this uh, so now you can see the installing Veeam agent for Windows and you can see it's installed few tools here like express local db and it's install the management object and uh, these uh, visual c++ and now finally it's going to install the veeam backup uh, agent for microsoft windows so now you can see it is starting the service and now finally we have veeam agent for microsoft windows installed on this server so this is good news and now you can see the installing starting the services 
same we can verify an exchange exchange installation is also done and it's uh, starting the services So post the installation you don't require the reboot f after installing the vmage in for Microsoft Windows but it's always recommended to re uh, reboot your computer once. So you can see uh, the installation is completed and now it's uh, asking to insert the backup target now so I'm going to skip this click next and then you can see installation completed successfully and then uh, it's uh, going to give you the option run veeam recovery media creation wizard now so I'm not going to click now we will create both things later on so I'm going to click on finish so now if I go to all programs you can see here we have configure backup option we have create recovery media file level restore and volume restore so all we have and we have also v image in for Microsoft Windows and you can see this installation op uh, operates in a free mode so if you want you can go ahead and install the license so I'm not going to install license so click on no and this is how so we are going to uh, set up this um, going to configure this option later on so you can see on click configure backup it's going to ask you where you want to backup and what you want to take the backup so the installation is completed here and we can go and exchange server also you can see the installation is almost completed so we can click on skip add backup later on and we will create a recovery media also later on so now you can see the installation on exchange server also done so everything looks good and so in next videos we are going to take the backup of uh, this uh, server domain controller and we will um, we will try to restore the object and everything so so this is all about in this video how to install veeam agent for microsoft windows so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye